Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're going to be doing some ETS2 today, doing a run over here. We've got a beautiful modded truck here. I know it's hard to see it because it is dark. Hopefully we'll get some daylight so you can see this truck. If not, I will be running it again. So you can see it. This is a Freightliner FLC. It's a 1983 model. It has uh, only cat engines. Uh, it has a 550 horsepower cat engine in it. So let's crank up this truck let y'all hear this truck. Yes. Sounds great. Good looking model. Love this truck. Here's the inside. Really well done for a free mod. It's a really, really good looking truck. So let's get on the road. Now we'll be running this truck again. I want to run it here today. I do apologize for it being a night run. This is kind of when the game started me was at night. So. Yeah, this is a really well done mod. I, I do like this truck. It has a, quite a few options. Like I said, right now I don't have a lot of engines. Um, hoping you know, that it get updated. And for it to be over here on ETS 2, that, that's another plus in, in my book. Luckily guys, I already have a thumbnail that I took of this truck earlier. But I had planned on doing this run earlier. I don't play ETS too much. I'm uh, I'm not normally only playing ATS, but I wanted to get in here and not just do a run over here today, especially with this beautiful mod. And guys, uh, these mods, this is something that I've been wanting to discuss. Um, I do know Jeff Fabiano just done a video with this exact truck over on ATS, and uh, his words is true. And I believe the same way that he does. You know, when you go to these mod sites, I mean, I did the same thing. A lot of us does the same thing. We go to these mod sites and we download these mods. We don't know if this mod was put on by the person who made it. I don't know that. He doesn't know that. You don't know that. But I want to say this to anyone who watches this video and you do you just get that kind of stuff. Stop. These modders, you know, they work they work long hours. You know, a lot of these mods are free, and there's no reason for you to steal somebody else's work and put your name on. That's just wrong. And it just makes it worse for all of us good people out here that loves to play these games. And appreciate these models and for what they do for this for ETS2 and in ATS. So I mean, flight simulator. I'm still working on. I, I don't know if that's going to happen. Just to be honest with you, I'm I'm not a pilot. I know nothing about airplanes and I'm kind of having some problems with the training. So, I'm, I don't know if I'm comfortable enough to actually fly the plane uh, online. So, we're going to have to see how that works out. Hopefully, you know, it will work out for the best. And 
and uh, we can get in and do it. But I am going to be doing, I definitely will be doing some train sim. I haven't got it yet. I am looking into doing that. Once I get my setup done, i got a lot more stuff that I'm going to do. I mean, I've, I've got big plans for this channel. Um, I do want to join a server too. That's something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. Is join a server. But guys, if y'all do play this game, I do highly recommend this mod, uh, e either for ATS2 or America Truck. Uh, I'm not driving it over there right now on, on ATS, but it is a great truck. Like I said, it's a little lack on engines, but I mean, I'm pretty sure that'll be updated later on down the road. I've made some big changes in my LSPDFR. I was having some issues that I was tired of dealing with. So I did fix the problem. We're going to go to hang it on the train. Uh, today, the, yeah, the truck's running a, uh, a cat engine 550 horsepower. That's the biggest engine as of right now this truck offers. But that's okay. Alright, let's shut it off, turn the lights off. Alright, hit the button. It's gonna take us 35 minutes. Oh. Alright. Fire back up. Go to the outside view for a minute so I can see a little bit better. So guys, who's excited for Colorado to come out of ATS? I've, I've really been enjoying Idaho. You know, I think SCS done a fantastic job with the DLC. But, you know, I am looking forward to the next state, you know. Um, I have removed the MHA Pro Mount from both of these games. That was having some texture issues with MHA Pro Mount. So I did remove it. Oh, uh, I'm gonna remove that map when we get back on the road here, guys. We still got 263 miles. I don't use track R. I do want to get one to look around in the cab. So, and that's one reason why I do have those side mirrors up there so I can see better. Oh wait a minute, this truck don't have a GPS. Why not to have that up? Unfortunately, they don't have a GPS. I just, I just remembered that. Well, that's kind of the way it would be back then. They didn't have GPS back then. So we're not going to remove that map. Um, 
I'll have to look in. I don't think you had an option for a GPS. I may have overlooked it. So I'll have to look in there and go, go back to the shop and um, look at it and see if it does actually have an option for that. But all in all, guys, are great looking truck. I mean, it's really good to see good mods like this still coming out for these games. Hope everyone's doing well. Hope you're enjoying the videos. I'm, I'm really trying to get in here and do more. This is something that I really want to do. I am, um, I've got my mind set that this is what I want to do. And I'm really trying to get in here and do more for you guys. Because I enjoy it. Still use an Xbox One controller. I don't have a, a wheel. This game kind of throws me off to a little bit on the, because the roads and stuff like that is uh, a lot different from what, what it is over here. And sometimes it throws me off in this game because I don't play it that much.
does not have the working and window animation. This truck does have that. So, I mean, if you're not really worried about the, the window animation with the windows roll up and down, and uh, you do want to use uh, RDS Volvo, it, it has been updated. It's still a great mod, it's still a good looking truck. I mean, nothing else has changed on it besides that. It was just updated for the latest version of the game. And uh, you have to respect the man, you know, for what he has done. Because I do. Roll the wind up. It is raining. There's the horn. Good sounding horn, good sounding engines, good looking interior. A uh, really good looking truck. Hats off to the person that made it. I mean, it's it's a fantastic, fantastic mod. Also, guys, I want to say to anyone that does play this and they watch the video, um, I do have two groups. One is only American Truck, but one is also American Truck and ETS2. If anyone is interested in joining those groups, they're doing very well. Uh, we're always looking for more, more people to join. You're all free to join as long as you follow the rules of the group. I have no issues with anyone joining as long as they maintain and follow the rules. The groups are doing very well. I mean, so, and, and I'm happy to see that. Better slow down. Get a ticket for speed. So, guys, um, as far as like flight simulator goes, and then I am still working on the training. I definitely want to get in here and do some videos for you guys. I don't know when it'll be because I'm not that good at it. I'm just going to balance with you. I know nothing about airplanes. So it's taken me a little bit to pick up on what you on how to do the, do the things on there and what they want done. Um, I'm kind of not liking the fact that it only is pretty much all multiplayer. Go straight on. It's not really where you can do flight single player that I've seen. There's challenges and stuff like that on there for like regular single player, but I'm not really into the challenges. Um, so I don't know when it'll be coming. Go I'm hoping for it to come. Um, definitely though, we will be checking out Train Sim World, the new one. Um, I know that there's a new bus simulator coming out. I have not seen it yet on Steam. I don't know if Steam is going to get the game. Hopefully they do. Because I definitely want to check that out too. Because Bus Simulator 2020 was a really was really well done. It was uh, probably one of the best Bus Simulator games that I've seen in a long time. And 
some of that I would like to see come to these games. I mean, the one thing that ATS and ETS both is lacking is for your drivers. Um, it's true, you can hire drivers, you can pull up the map, you can see where they're at, but you don't see them on the map. That's something that SCS needs to address, because if they can do it in a bus simulator, where you actually see the person driving the bus in traffic, they can do it in this game. It can be done. So, and like I've, like I've already said, you know, hats off to SCS, hats off to all these modders. You know, all these people that make, you know, mods for these games and for these uh, simulators, you know, it's not easy. And and that's something, too, that I want to address. And like I said, I did this watch uh, last night. Uh, Jeff Fabiano's latest ATS video. And it he, he had a valid point on a lot of things. There's a lot of people, I get the complaints like he does about playing games like this. Um, it would not never be exactly 100% real. I mean, there, there's no way that they can, it's a simulator to simulate what you do. But it's not 100% real on driving a truck. It's, you know, no. It'll never be there. And then you get, you know, people like, well, why would you want to simulate driving a truck? We do it for these these trucks. Look at these uh, the the world, this animated world, the beautiful animated worlds that they can, that they uh, that they've created. We do it for these these trucks. The, even the SCS is created. These models are created. I mean, these are great looking models, great looking trucks. Uh, the world is beautiful. That's why so many of us plays it because we enjoy it, we enjoy the trucks, we enjoy the world, we enjoy the fact that they are, they, they, they keep updating it, keep bringing stuff to it, keep making it better. You know, and if you don't want to watch the videos, don't watch them. There's other YouTubers out there that's doing other things. You want to watch them? Watch them. No one here says you have to watch the video. I do appreciate who does watch it. I do appreciate everyone that subscribed. I want to get more subscribers, but I'm not begging no one to subscribe to the channel. I am trying to find other games to play. I've got a lot of ideas on stuff that I want to do for the channel. Uh, and if, unfortunately right now, I don't have anybody that I can play multiplayer games with. That is something that I just don't have because I don't really know anybody. To do multiplayer stuff with. Not on PC. I know quite a few people that plays consoles, but I don't play consoles too much anymore. So I have both consoles, and I haven't turned them on in probably three months. And probably in probably another three months I turn them on. Just balance. So mm. trying to drive straight here. I know I'm rambling. I'm talking. Um, you know, and, and it comes down, you know, like, like I said, these mods. It's, it's just like LSPDFR. Um, we get the same thing with LSPDFR. We get mod uh, people like, well, why would you want a mod in a car? Because it's something that we enjoy. I respect what law enforcement does. I respect what fire for our firefighters do. I respect what EMS does. I, and I know what they're going through out there. I understand what they're going through. They have a tough job. And they should get, be getting more respect than what they are. This defunding of police departments and all, it's foolish. I said all they're trying to do, they're trying, all they want to do is they want to make it a, where you don't have any officers, no cops. That's what they want. And that's what's going to keep on. That's what's going to happen. You have no one that's going to fight crime and uh, protect people.
and playing LS pretty far shows some respect to because there's a lot of officers out there that knows this game there's a lot that's on some of these role play servers the DOJ the role play servers for Grand Theft Auto there's all there's you know officers on there that does that type of stuff so they know this kind of stuff is out there and they appreciate what we do Man, this truck is great. Love this thing. Like I said, guys, I, I didn't want it to be a night run, and now it's raining. That's unfortunate, but you know, we would definitely do another run with this truck. I'm going to be using this one for a while, I think, over here, because I really do enjoy this this model, this truck. It's a really well done mod. I wish it did have some more engines. I mean, look, I'm pretty sure that'll come later. Maybe the next, uh, when the game, when the truck gets updated again, Hope you know they'll, they'll add some more engines to it. I would love to see that. But you know, not complaining at all. I know the drive is not the best, but like I said, I am using a Xbox controller. I don't have a wheel. I did have to remove the MHJ Pro mount. I'm going to have to remove it from, from ATS also. I mean, it has some texture issues. I'm going to actually look at it over there. I know it is MHJ Pro mount. Because it's doing it over here too. I do. I am running some real company mods. Over on ATS. I'm having some texture issues with buildings and stuff like that. So I'm going to have to look and see if it's the real company mod or it is if it is the MJ Pro Map, but I'm having the issue over here too, so that's why I'm thinking it is the MJ Pro Map. I'm gonna have to look at it and see though. And then guys, if you want to see a video, you want me to do a video with our dance Volvo showing off, um, you know, the truck, you know, and showing that um, what's been, like I said, really nothing's been done. He just updated for it to work with a new version of the game. I would be, I would be happy to do it. And, and if any suggestions on any games to play, bring to the channel, I want to hear. It. I mean, I, I want to, you know, want, I want you to tell me, you know. I am still working, like I said, on getting LS Pretty Far set back up like I want it. Um, it, it has really changed everything since now that I have some custom slots in where I can add more vehicles, I can fix it, but where I don't have the, the texture lock, texture issues that I've been having with vehicles spawning with the wrong um, uh, liberty on the car. I had done everything that I could in the in the jurisdiction mind, it was still good. I mean, it, you would go in and set it up for the spawn with that liberty at that location and they would still you still would see it 
with the, with the wrong liberty. So, I mean, it's unfortunate that maybe like two agencies will only have one car because I, I didn't have enough. Um, but they were small, so uh, it's like airport police and I mean, airport police and port authority. Which now they don't they don't have one car. They have some unmarked down there. So, you know, they do have more than one car, it's just only one one mark unit. Is in that area? And I think that'd be okay though, I mean And eventually if I want to I can go down, you know, cut down maybe another department, you know, and add two more vehicle, another vehicle for each of those in. I want to do that. Uh, the city and the state right now has the most cars because I think that's the biggest area. Um, and I'm using different packs. I'm not using the same car pack everywhere. I put in different car packs. I am going to be looking at what I did put in for the city and see if I want to keep certain vehicles there. I may change it. Um, I did put in... Oh, we're speeding. That's because I'm talking. I gotta get over. Some extra vehicles. See um, if I want to keep that like it is. So if we got some light, guys, let's take a look at this truck. Beautiful truck. Look at that. Beautiful. Now this truck does come uh, with a day cab version if you wanted a day cab to run a day cab and it, it, it does have a day cab option so you can do that with this mod. Take the sign down. Cut it sharp. We may have cut it too sharp there. There we go. I get confused here. Hold on just a second here. Okay. I'm so used to ATS, I don't play this much. I need to really get in here and practice more over here on this game. So I know the road a little bit better. Alright. Where's our drop here? All right, well, they want it. Yeah, guys, uh, beautiful mod. Hats off to the guy that created this truck. For this truck to be free, yeah, it's it's uh, 
Really well done. We'll get it in a little bit better. There we go. All right, we drove excellent. We drove 293 miles. It took us seven hours and 32 minutes to get here. We consumed 40, uh, 40 gal 40.2 gallons of fuel. So it's not bad on fuel too. We're going to pick up this load right here before we turn it off. Yeah, that's a beautiful mine. Good looking truck. I can't say enough about it. There's not a good air sound over here too guys in ATS in ETS. Well the ATS doesn't have one no more either. Alright guys, that's gonna be it for the video. I wanna get in here and uh, do a video of this uh, Freightliner FLC. It's like an 83 model uh, modded truck. Like I said, it is a beautiful mod. It, it, I do highly recommend it for both of these games. If you're looking for a new modded truck to check out, this is definitely one to be looking into. It, it is uh, well done. Um, not a lot of customization, far as like I said, it has a quite a bit, but not. It's not nothing like Viper's truck. I can say that, but it's still pretty good. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Have a good day.